Alright, so Eddie, why did you do maths at uni? So I chose to do maths at uni because I was just really enjoying it throughout my time in sixth form. Because kind of before, I'd say like during my GCSEs, I thought I was going to do something kind of science-y, but not, not really maths. It wasn't my favourite subject at the time. Um, but when I started the A-level, I found that I was really enjoying it, really understanding it. Um, it's just kind of the more of it I did, the more I realised that this is what I want to do. Um, so I just kind of took a keen interest in it and just realised that it was, it was something for me and that I really loved it. Yeah, it can be quite a big decision to decide between doing like an applied thing like physics or engineering or maths. I guess it kind of comes down to whether you think maths is like a tool or whether it's something you kind of are interested in, like why that happens sort of thing. Mm, yeah, definitely. Also more about the practical element as well, because maths doesn't have a practical element. Like you still do a quite a lot of the maths that you would have done in physics or engineering, yeah. but you don't have to do the practical. Yeah, but something I found when I was doing, for example, physics A level, is that I was always looking for the, the maths in it, and my, the things I was strongest yeah, yeah, at when yeah. I was doing physics were always the maths yeah. equation things. So that was also kind of steering me towards uh, doing maths. Um, so I'd consider myself to be more of an applied mathematician, but not so far to go to physics, because I don't really like practicals too much. Yeah. And the yeah. thing with maths is just you need to want to understand like why, so how do we get this equation rather than just Here's like, yeah, yeah. Like, use it. Mm, definitely. Mm. I'd say one of the big designs for me was actually that I really like number problems. So you know how all video chemistry problems are about numbers? They're not really complex, but they're just... Mm -hmm. you, know, you, stuff, you yeah. just have to work out how to do it. So I really enjoyed those. I really like that level of problem solving. So that was a big, big motivator for me. Yeah. Um, I guess a, a way you might want to test it out is if you look at some step one questions or something, just to get an idea of what uni maths is like compared to like an easy instruction to what it might be like. If, you like, if you're interested in that kind of thing, then you might think maths is better for you than physics or engineering. That being said, if you don't like it, keeping it's hard at first, yeah, then don't, don't let that put, it, put you up. That doesn't mean you can't do maths. Like, it just means that it's hard, so yeah, you yeah. need a lot of personal yeah. determination. But it can be very rewarding, I think you'll find. Like, that's one of the things I found with maths is just, it can be really hard, but when you get there in the end, you get like an overwhelming sense mm -hmm. of like, satisfaction. Yeah, yeah. There isn't much better than that, too, is <laughs> I think it's also in, uh, really important that you actually enjoy the process because like a lot of people do enjoy getting the answer but if you don't enjoy getting that, especially because at university you have to spend so much longer getting to the answer, it's not worth it like if you don't actually enjoy the whole process. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah.